हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर फिजिक्स क्लास दिस इज योर फिजिक्स टीचर होप यू ऑल आर इन अ गुड कंडीशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव लर्न अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट्स और सोलिनट्स एंड द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट्स वन ऑफ देम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल दैट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक बेल सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग नो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन अवर लाइफ because a number of applications are there and uh, so many appliances are working with the help of electricity and uh, in our everyday life our main concern is with light and fans so how that light is produced electricity is used to produce light similarly the fans are operating or they are moving with the help of electricity and in the winters we use the electric heaters or the room heaters to keep ourselves warm and to stay cool in the summers we are using the acs or the air conditioners and these two devices also run with the help of electricity or we can say that electricity is used to run these appliances similarly refrigerators use electricity to keep fruits and vegetables fresh for a longer period and for a entertainment purposes we are using the televisions uh, telephones radio and computer which also need electricity to work electricity is also used to produce sound as we have seen in an electric bell that whenever we are providing a source of electricity say battery uh, within an electric circuit then what happens circuit gets completed and the electric current flows through the circuit and the in electromagnet behaves like a magnet which helps this hammer to strike over the gong and in this way this produces sound so we can say that electricity is produced uh, used to produce sound as in the electric bell or calling bell and to blow a horn in a car and uh, in operating the siren in a factory so these are the applications of electricity similarly there are some other electric devices like electric iron electric geysers which are also working with the help of electricity now the question is that how electricity uh, runs these electric devices this the reason behind this is electric current electric current is flowing through these devices so before going to this topic let us have a look at the structure of an atom so uh, what is an atom we all know that everything around us is made up of atoms or the matter which is around us is made up of the small par particles which are known as the atoms inside an atom there is a nucleus there is a center core which is known as the nucleus which is carrying the positively charged protons positively charged particles which are known as protons and the uncharged particles which are known as the neutrons neutrons are the uncharged particles which carry no charge and around the nucleus the electrons which are the negatively charged particles they revolve in, around the nucleus in the circular orbits so we can say that electrons are the negatively charged particles which can revolve around the nucleus in the circular orbits what is the circular orbit it is a circular path around the nucleus in which an electric uh, electrons flow so there are other orbits like uh, uh, which are also known as the shells increasing in number like k l m n shells you have studied in chemistry so this is about the structure of an atom now an atom is said to be electrically neutral electrically neutral when the number of protons will be equal to the number of electrons because protons having the positive charge and electrons having the negative charge or we can simply say that when the total positive charge on the protons will be equal to the total negative charge on the electrons then the atom is said to be electrically neutral but whenever an atom gains or loses electrons then it becomes charged or Uh, we can say that that atom is a charged atom and uh, when it loses electrons that charged atom is known as ion and when it loses electrons then it becomes positively charged atom so the, at that time it is known as cation and when it gains electrons it becomes negatively charged atom and at that time it is known as anion so this is about the structure of an atom now we will 
लर्न अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज द फ्लो ऑफ दिस चार्ज पार्टिकल दिस इज द फ्लो ऑफ द चार्ज पार्टिकल थ्रू अ कंडक्टिंग मीडियम विच कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट इज नोन एज कंडक्टिंग मीडियम सच एज अ वायर और कॉपर वायर दैट इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट और वी कैन सिंपली से दैट इट इज द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्जेस रेट मीन्स वेन चार्ज फ्लोज पर यूनिट टाइम through a conductor then that is known as rate of flow of charge if we denote electric current by capital i that will be equal to capital q divided by small t q is the charge and t is the time so it can also be defined as the rate of flow of electric charges through a conducting medium now whenever we are talking about the electric current we are referring to the charged particles as electrons we are talking about the electrons because electrons are the main carriers of the electric current now we will discuss about the free electrons what are the free electrons uh, as we know that the electron uh, the nucleus is a positively charged and the electrons are the negatively charged particles so the nucleus of an atom holds the to hold the electrons revolving in the different orbits with a strong attractive force because this is a positive charge this is having the positive charge due to the positive charge of the protons neutrons are the uncharged particles so the nucleus as a whole will have the positive charge so the nucleus of an atom will hold the together the electrons revolving in different orbits with a strong attractive force but when we are talking about the outermost shell then the electrons in the outermost orbits or the shells are not very strongly bound to the nucleus like here if the electrons is here because it is very far away from the nucleus and at room temperature it these electrons can acquire some enough energy to free themselves from an atom they get free from the atom and such electrons which free themselves from an atom and move around freely freely and randomly in the entire volume of the substance available to them these are known as the free electrons because we know that in a substance there will not be a single atom there will be number of atoms so the free electrons after getting free from the orbit of an atom they can move freely and randomly in the entire volume of the substance available to them so this movement of the free electrons results in the flow of charges and when these charges are made to flow in a particular direction then electric current is produced when these charges are made to flow in a particular direction then electric current is produced so how electric current is pro produced and how we can set up an electric circuit we will see further so before i want give want to give an example that how or why charges cannot flow in a particular direction by themselves charges do not flow in a wire or in any other conductor by themselves wo apne aap move nahi kar sakte hain there should be some force there should be some force so that the electric charges can move in a particular direction and they constitute electric current as we know that for example if we keep two containers which are at the same level and they are having water inside them and they are connected by a uh, tube which is connected to both of these through which the water can flow now when the two containers are at the same level and the they are having the same level of water inside them then the water from container a to container b or from b to a cannot flow but if we raise the, this container or either this container up to some height then what happens is the water can flow from that container to the uh, container which is below that one for example if we raise the height of this container a and the container b is downside like this here then water can flow from this a container to the b container because there is a difference of height similarly if a water can also flow from a hill to the ground spontaneously means ki wo apne aap hai jo hill se ground ki taraf move karega because there is a difference of height it is at more height and this is at less height this is there is a difference in height so water is able to move or flow due to the difference in height and in the first line it is written that the flow of water in the river is called water current so why there is a water current because there is a difference in height 
water current is due to the flow of water in a river and that flow is due to the difference in height similarly the charges cannot flow in a wire directly or in through any conductor by themselves there must be something which is responsible for the flow of electric current so the electrons move along the current in the same direction only if there is a difference of electric pressure known as the potential difference in the form of a battery which is also known as the potential difference in the form of a battery or a cell and this potential difference is also known as the voltage means ki current kisi circuit mein tabhi flow karega agar usko hum koi source of electricity denge which can create a electric pressure which which can create a difference of electric pressure or also known as the potential difference what is the meaning of this potential difference or what is the meaning of this potential you have learned this word uh, in the potential energy that potential energy is the energy present in the substances when it is placed at some height or kisi bhi position pe agar koi object pada hua hai so the energy stored in that object due to its position is known as potential energy so similar is the case here that uh, there should be a potential difference means as uh, one point should be at higher potential and one point should be at lower potential so that the current can flow from the higher potential to the lower potential like a water from the hill to the ground so this potential difference is provided by a battery which is a source of electricity because it can provide the potential difference what is a battery it is a combination of cells as we know that a single cell is denoted by a capital line and a small line capital line represents the positive terminal and it represents the negative terminal when two or three cells are combined with each other then they constitute battery so this battery can give the potential difference or it can provide the potential difference in an electric circuit and uh, because it is having the chemical energy stored inside it and there are chemical reactions occurring which can uh, convert the chemical energy into the electrical energy so the battery can also be termed as the source of electricity which can create a potential difference in the electric circuit so due to that the electrons can flow from the pos- uh, higher potential to the lower potential or from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery current will flow or the electrons will flow from the negative to the positive terminal what is this i will explain in detail so i hope you understood about the potential difference so this is known as the potential difference or simply how we can define potential difference that it is the work done in moving a unit charge in moving a unit charge from one point to the another means ki agar hame ek unit charge ko ek point se dusre point ki taraf move karwana hai to uske liye jo kaam karna padega that is known as potential difference so how it can be created so for that we will take a conductor the free electrons are given a path in order to make them move in a particular direction and this is done by creating a circuit with the wire and a power source like a battery and an electric circuit is a pathway inside which the free electrons will flow now when an electric device is connected across a battery the electrons will flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery through the device or simply we can say that we have taken a conductor in which there will be positive charges as well as the negative charge charges which are known as the electrons positive charges bhi honge aur negative charges bhi honge negative charges ko hum kya bol rahe hain electrons and positive charges are sometimes known as the holes theek hai so whenever this conductor is connected to the battery by using the connecting wires this is the one pole of the battery negative terminal and this is the positive terminal of the battery so what happens there will be a flow of electric current there will be a flow of electric current from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal now there are two type of currents defined which are known as the conventional current and the electronic current what is conventional current conventional current is flowing from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal and the direction in which the electrons flow that is from negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal because the electrons are the negatively charged particles and so the these are repelled by the negative terminal of the battery so they will flow towards the positive terminal of the battery so the electrons are flowing from the negative terminal to the positive terminal that will constitute electronic current this you can see this is the direction of the electronic current but the 
करंट विच इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी टू द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ड्यू टू द पॉजिटिव चार्जेस दैट इज नोन एज द कन्वेंशनल करंट दिस इज द डायरेक्शन यू कैन सी दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द कन्वेंशनल करंट कन्वेंशनल मीन्स बाय कन्वेंशन इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू नेगेटिव टर्मिनल विच इज ऑपोजिट टू द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक करंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स and now the what is the si unit of electric current the si unit of electric current is ampere it is the si unit of electric current and electric current can be measured by using a device which is known as ammeter this is a device which can be used to measure an electric current so how we can elect, define electric current how it is constituted then whenever we connect a electric device across a battery the electrons will flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery and the direction of the conventional electric current in a circuit is opposite to that of the direction of the flow of negative charges so that is the direction of the electric current which is from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal we will say that current to the इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ऑल्सो कन्वेंशनल और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रिक करंट बट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स की वजह से जो करंट है उसका हम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बोलेंगे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक करंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट नाउ नेक्स्ट आर दोर्सेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वट आर दोर्सेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एज यू नो दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द एनर्जी सोर्सेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम कोल इट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम वाटर similarly from sunlight we can produce it and from wind uh, we are using the turbines which can convert this wind energy to the electrical energy and uh, similarly in a cell cell can also convert the or it can produce the electricity how it can produce electricity because the chemical energy stored inside a cell gets converted into the electrical energy in this way it produces electricity so there are several devices which can generate electricity and uh, these can be cells batteries or the generators Gen in the generators we are giving we are doing some mechanical work and the generators convert that mechanical energy into the electrical energy now we are going to discuss about the cells so what is a cell i have told you that it is a device which is used to produce electricity from the chemical energy stored in them that are known as electric cells so when metal rods are inserted in an electrolyte it leads to chemical reactions which uses electric current or it, it generates electric current what is an electrolyte firstly i want to explain you that what is an electrolyte electrolyte is an ionic solution or the liquids we can say that which conduct electricity are known as the electrolytes to jab bhi hum koi do metal rods lete hain any two metal rods like copper or uh, zinc and we place them in a solution of ionic solution that is known as electrolyte then there will be a chemical reaction in between them so that's why the chemical due to that chemical reactions the chemical energy will get converted into the electrical energy because one of the metals will become as positively charged and the other will become as negatively charged so this is about the cells now these cells we know that these are used in the devices like torch tv remotes wall clock toys up and so many devices and they have a positive terminal and a negative terminal the positive terminal is on the knob on the top of the cell this is the knob on the top of the cell and the negative terminal is at the flat end of the cell so on the other hand there are other cells also like button cells which are used in the wrist watches and similarly in calculators and hearing aids so these are the button cells these are having the positive charge as well as the negative uh, terminal and uh, similarly this is the positive and negative terminal of the cells which are used in the everyday life in toys and torches and in tv remotes so what important important thing about these types of cells is that that these type of cells cannot be recharged after using them once means ki jab hum unko ek time use kar lenge to uske baad unko charge nahi kiya ja sakta they are used only once and are disposed of after that so these type of cells are known as the primary cells what are known as primary cells the cells which can be used only once and cannot be recharged for, further are known as the primary cells 
so these are the primary cells and uh, simple dry cells used in a torch are the primary cells these are the dry cells you can see now we will study about the construction and working of this dry or dry cell or primary cell in the next video and there are other type of cells also which are known as the secondary cells which can be charged which can be recharged that are known as the secondary cells and that are the nickel cadmium cells lithium cells all that so we will discuss about these dry cells and the secondary cells in the next video so i hope you will understand these concepts thank you